In this video, we will see uh, how to build Java based Maven applications using declarative pipelines and environment variables. Let's get started. This is where we stopped in uh, previous video. In previous video, I have shown you uh, how to use git checkout to check out source code. So let's continue from there. Let me edit uh, the script. I want to add one more stage to it. I want to call this stage Maven build. Right? So inside this stage, I want to put my steps. On my Jenkins box, Maven is already installed. This is our Linux machine where uh, Jenkins is installed. So I have installed Maven under uh, OPT, Maven 3. So inside bin, you'll find MVN script. And Maven is not added to path inside my linux box what i want to do in my declarative pipeline i need to add this maven uh, bin directory to the path and followed by execute maven command so i want to use shell step as i told you mvn is not inside the path I need to manage to keep MVN in the path in the same declarative pipeline. So after agent any, let's use environment block. The environment variables we add here, right, is available for all the stages in this declarative pipeline. We also can use this environment variable block in a specific stage such that it will be available only to that specific stage. The one we are adding here is global and available everywhere inside this declarative pipeline. So I want to add a path, right? I want to add Maven to the path. So maven is installed at a slash opt slash mvn3 bin. To this path, I want to append my existing path, which is dollar path. Now the code is ready. Let's commit this code and go to declarative demo. So this is our job which is already created in the job i am pointing to the script we just written here right we are pointing to this my web jenkins declarative get we are pointing to my web and the file is jenkins declarative get save and build when you build it does two things it will add your maven to the path with help of environment variable block it will execute two stages one stage is to check out the second stage is to build the code which is available after git checkout so it ran build number four And if you see, it's running MVN clean package. It's able to build and package our Java based application, which is my web with some version dot war and the build is success. In next video, we will see how to deploy this war file onto a development environment. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.